Hello and welcome. It's Francis here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, well then I bid the welcome. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out because I post an assortment of material. So in this video, I'm wanting to talk about the upcoming full moon, which will be the 19th of December here in Adelaide. And it will be full at 3.05pm. In some parts of the world, it will actually be on the 18th. So you might want to check your thermos or your app or sites such as timeanddate.com as to when it will be full in your part of the world. Disclaimer, I'm not an astrologer. I don't pretend to be an astrologer. I haven't studied astrology in any manner, way, shape or form. I just have an interest in planetary alignments. And so I follow a number of astrologers and these videos are mostly gleamed from what they have shared of points of interest that I find of interest. Just if that doesn't quite make sense, but it's all right. It's the middle of the day, the planes are flying and that's life. So, moon will be 27 degrees of Gemini. Gemini is the sign of the twins of communication. Its ruling planet is Mercury, and we'll talk about that in a bit. So it's about balance, balance between the mortal twin and the immortal twin, the spiritual and the physical realms, and finding the middle path of peace while understanding the need for polarity. Still seeing both sides and going beyond things are just black and white, yes or no, good or evil. Finding the need for polarity and then moving beyond it. The sun is going to be 28 degrees of Sagittarius. It's going to be conjunct, which means near to. A point called the galactic center. Now this is believed to be the original originating point of our universe and it is the point where all the potent magical mysterious energy in our cosmos actually originates from so the sun will be infused with this energy and as the sun and the moon are completely opposites the sun will be directing this energy to the moon and the moon will be absorbing it and then reflecting it back to us. So what does this actually mean? The galactic center, I said I've got a number of notes happening here. Galactic center is in relation to higher consciousness. It's in relation to higher connections, higher realizations. It also has a connection with the emotions letting go so therefore it makes it to be a really good time to meditate and also just to allow things to happen now mercury as i said is the ruling planet of gemini and it's in the earth sign of capricorn so while mercury is usually very quick and moving here it's being slowed down so communication, slowing down, plans that we have envisaged may not result in what we first anticipated. So there's a need to be flexible as plans may change or be cancelled. However, things will always seem to work out in the end. So that is good. Just looking at my notes on Forever Conscious website, so I'll mention these down below. They mention, we are the universe expressing itself in human form and meditating on this idea. Feeling into this thought space under the Gemini full moon may unlock a new and higher state of consciousness. And then Pippa Kate, who is an astrologer based in Sydney, 
mentions that we are being called to see the beauty of polarity, to find the place between the two sides so that we can rest, a place of reconciliation between the opposing parts of self. And who knows what we see within is reflected without. This is the microcosm and the macrocosm. When we find the peace within ourselves between the two opposing sides, hopefully we can reflect that out. And as this world goes through a lot of trauma and conflict, we might be, be able to project that place of peace externally as well. She also mentioned that the galactic center is the center of our known universe, lying in alignment with the sun in Sagittarius, lighting up the moon in Gemini. So there, these are, there, there is the two gates, the gate of God, of the divine, the sun, and the gate of man, the moon. To recall that place within you where you live beyond duality, yet also live within it. It's a bit of a paradox happening. Experiencing the dance of life between light and shade as expressed through the world around you. And he's also mentioning that it's time to stand in your truth, the place that intersects polarity, to speak from the place of love to those around you. To use the power of your voice, this is all coming back to Gemini and Mercury, in your role as a divine messenger to find reconciliation within and around you. Molly McCord, who is on YouTube, talks about the sun being infused with the energy from the galactic center. And also with Gemini and Mercury, and Mercury and Capricorn. It's considered what is important. We're asked to consider what is necessary to accomplish right now. Square Chiron, which is the wounded healer in Aries. We're listening to the helicopter now, all happening today. This sort of opens the possibility for the disappointment. However, there are other things beginning to open up in its place. It's also a time when Venus is going to go into retrograde just after the full moon. It's going to be 26 of Capricorn. So this is the reviewing process of priorities right until the end of January. So Venus rules love, beauty, finances, money, and also our relationships and our relationships to these things. So we may be finding ourselves reviewing our relationships, our relationships with money, with beauty, with other people. So there is quite a bit happening and going on with this next full moon, the last full moon for this calendar year until we move into the next cycle. So with the galactic center being conjunct with the sun and the energy being infused and directed towards the moon. It is a good time. If you're in Adelaide, I'll be holding a full moon gathering down at Grange Beach. The details are on my Facebook page. And it might be a good time to do some meditation with the lunar energies. So I hope this has been of interest to you. Blessings.